Oh my what? goodness, look at what they're doing. <laughs> oh, so Are much fun. This has been amazing. Like so right. much fun doing this. Yes, and for like amateur planters or those who think they know what they're doing, even to those who are professional, I feel like this, I learned something here. Like <laughs> I never really ever thought about the dimensions. And yours is gorgeous, Mel. I think you really kind of knocked it out of the park. Mine is like kind of barely it. hanging on. <laughs> No, I just, my spiller I is think sinking. This is the beautiful thing. I really don't think you can go wrong with plants like a gift like this yes. because you know it's just it's so I mean, pretty. Yeah, I, f I always feel in nature colors don't clash. You know how they like right. pinks and greens should never be seen or whatever. Yes. Is that the same? <laughs> pinks I, <don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Meredith, when you are getting questions from folks, what is like the main question you have about building planters for mom or not mom, just in general, anybody? It's usually what's going to do well in their location uh -huh. um, because a lot of people don't know what kind of light they have yeah. and or they think they can't have any fun in the shade, oh, right. <laughs> which That's we talked true. about. Um, That's probably the main thing. And once you have it all stacked out and built, do you have to treat it any special way? I know folks are always thinking about fertilizers and how much to water it because they're all different plants. Do they all get the same amount of water? So that's a good question. Um, if they take about the same amount of sun, typically mm. it, your planter will be equally thirsty. Yes. <laughs> um, sun plants <laughs> usually go through water faster. They transpire faster and oh, shade pots will hold on to it. This um, is wonderful. Fertilizing for sure. You know, you need to eat, they need to eat. Yes, that's so um, true. So um, how often would you say that happens? We like to recommend a bloom specific fertilizer um, and you can do that every time you water. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was watching Mel as she put more soil in there. She really is loving this. This is amazing. I love this so much. <laughs> so we this might have to fun. make this a weekly thing. That's yeah. all I have to say. It's for therapeutic you. for us. Dirty right? fingernails. Oh, oh yes. There's nothing better than getting into the garden. You know, this might have inspired you. So hopefully we've inspired you and given you some good ideas to throw yeah. something together for Mother's Day this weekend. And speaking of Mother's Day, what is the best gift you can think of, Meredith, I'll ask you this, that you can give mom, that you think your mom would want more than anything this Mother's oh. Day? The best thing I could give my mother? Yeah. Um, gosh, probably more plants. She's as bad as me. How about oh, you? What about sleep? <laughs> sleep. That's a good one. Sleep. Yes. We're going to tell you how you can give your mom a better night of sleep. That's coming up tomorrow on Am Buffalo. Have a wonderful day.